What if everything we knew about the universe's age was suddenly proven wrong? Could this astonishing find turn upside down our entire understanding of the cosmos? These galaxies, unearthed by the James Webb Telescope, are challenging our knowledge of the early universe. Researchers have unveiled a celestial spectacle of unprecedented proportions. Six colossal galaxies that emerged into existence in a mere blink of an eye after the explosive birth of the cosmos. The Pennsylvania State University's Joel Lasia participated in the study and signified them as universe breakers. The galaxies are so massive and early in the universe that they should not exist according to current cosmological theories. In today's video, we will look at the challenging discovery of six impossible galaxies unearthed by the James Webb Telescope. Six incredible cosmic wonders, each vastly heavier than our sun, with a weight measured in billions of times more. Scientists are left in wonder by the immense glory of these celestial marvels that reveal the limitless splendors of our universe. This possibility of an early universe characterized by a stellar fast track that birthed these awe-inspiring monsters. Lead researcher Ivo Laba said they have never observed galaxies of this colossal size so soon after the Big Bang. Laba and his team were initially incredulous when confronted with the results. They were having a doubt about the reality of galaxies as developed as our beloved Milky Way, so early in cosmic history. The sheer size and brilliance of these objects were so staggering that certain team members even wondered if they had been mistaken in their observations. Last summer, the Webb Telescope turned its attention to a section of the sky near the Big Dipper, a region previously explored by the Hubble Space Telescope. While Hubble's observations in the visible spectrum revealed nothing extraordinary, Webb's infrared capabilities provided a fresh perspective on this well-known cosmic area. The new survey immediately uncovered something fascinating. Six bright red blotches of light emerged from the otherwise ordinary background. These fuzzy patches were not only bright, but also intensely red, a color that piqued the interest of astronomers. As the universe expands, objects moving away from us have their light wavelengths stretched into the red spectrum. The redder the color, the more distant the object. These six objects were so red that they were estimated to be distant enough to have originated up to 13.3 billion years ago. Moreover, their size indicated that they were not mere point sources like bright stars or supernovae, but were on a galactic scale. The potential galaxies might have been present at the universe's inception, approximately 500 to 700 million years post the Big Bang, or over 13 billion years in the past. Erica Nelson, co-author of the recent study and assistant professor of astrophysics at the University of Colorado Boulder, expressed her astonishment, saying, It's bananas. You just don't expect the early universe to be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies should not have had time to form. Researcher Erica Nelson peered at a part of an image the size of a postage stamp when she saw something strange, a few noticeably bright dots. Nelson emphasized that they were very red and glowing. We did not expect to see this, but what exactly was that? It was redshift. When an object moves away from us at a great distance, the spectrum of emitted light or other electromagnetic radiation shifts to red or towards the longer wavelengths. Redshift played a significant role in developing the Big Bang Theory, providing strong evidence that the universe is expanding. By looking at the color of the light, researchers can then estimate how fast the object is moving away from us and how fast the universe is expanding. If objects are moving towards the Earth, the light shifts in the direction of the shorter wavelengths and the object appears bluer. This concept is otherwise called blue shift. Young stars emit a vibrant blue light, but as they age and gradually adopt a redder hue as they deplete their fuel and cool down. Surprisingly, in the ancient galaxies targeted by the Webb telescope, astronomers were not anticipating the presence of these mature red stars. This discovery focuses on six galaxies that emerged roughly 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, approximately 13 billion years ago. Researchers had expected to find only small young baby galaxies at that time. Instead, they found galaxies that look as mature as our system and are at the dawn of the universe. It's very strange, says researcher Erica, says Nelson. 
She further focused that they did not expect the very young universe to be able to organize itself so quickly. These galaxies have hardly had time to form. Our Milky Way forms about one to two new stars each year, but some of the newly discovered galaxies would have had to birth hundreds of new stars yearly. The initial assessment of the size of these objects might have been deceptive. As first theorized by Albert Einstein and later confirmed through over a century of observations, the phenomenon known as gravitational lensing can cause light from a distant cosmic object to be bent by the gravity of nearer objects. This bending can make the distant object appear larger than its actual size. It was entirely plausible that the objects, which seemed to be on a galactic scale in the new paper, were in fact much smaller and were merely being magnified optically. However, this idea was soon ruled out. A more detailed examination of the entire image showed no nearby bodies that could have distorted the shape or size of the six bright objects, leaving galaxies as the most probable explanation for what they were. Even so, the researchers acknowledge that further observations will be needed to confirm this. The possibility that these objects are indeed galaxies opens up many questions. For instance, these galaxies must have been incredibly productive. While the Milky Way is believed to produce around two new stars annually, these six galaxies would have needed to create hundreds of new stars each year for hundreds of millions of years to reach their observed size. Additionally, the early universe primarily consisted of hydrogen and helium, leading to relatively small galaxies. If galaxies of this magnitude formed so early on, it would imply that heavier elements were more abundant and available than previously thought by scientists. But what if these discoveries are something else entirely? Joel Leja emphasized the likelihood that a few of these objects might not be galaxies at all, but rather concealed supermassive black holes Adding an air of intrigue and mystery to the ongoing exploration, Joel legislated either way the mass we've discovered means that the total mass of stars during the dawn of the universe is about 100 times larger than we previously thought. So even if we cut the monster in half, this is still an amazing find. There remains a possibility that the galaxies identified through Webb's data may be something entirely different than initially presumed. Other measurements are currently being carried out on the one hand to confirm that the noted dots are indeed galaxies and on the other hand to rule out alternative explanations. Although the data suggests they are likely galaxies, more theories are circulating. The enigmatic galaxies that captivated astronomers were captured through Webb's near-infrared camera, NERCAM, as part of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science, SEERS, program. Soon, the scientists intend to direct Webb's mirror again towards these galaxies, but this time to gather light spectra from these remote points of light. By breaking down the observed light into its wavelength composition, spectra will unveil crucial insights into the chemical and physical characteristics of these distant sources. This approach promises to deepen our understanding of these captivating cosmic wonders. Joel Leja believes that a spectrum will tell us a lot. It will show how large and how far away the galaxies are. Laba stated, the discovery may well be the beginning of a transformation in the way we understand the world around us. Laba expressed optimism that the odds are good. At least some of them will turn out to be colossal galactic giants. The forthcoming year holds the key to unraveling this intriguing mystery. Will this revelation of these immense ancient galaxies pave the way for scientists to explore fresh perspectives and enhance their theories concerning the genesis and expansion of these cosmic marvels? Or it will turn out to be all false. It was suspected that galaxies begin as small clouds that gradually grow larger over time. But the discovery challenges our understanding of the universe. To explain such a large amount of mass, either our current models of cosmology must be adjusted or the scientific understanding of the formation of galaxies in the early universe must be revised. Both scenarios require a fundamental shift in our understanding of the universe.